The Ellen Glasgow House may be the most important, iconic piece of real estate in all of Central Virginia to hit the market in the last few decades. Greek Revival generally is symmetrical, and here at the Glasgow House, the temple front is a one-story porch using the Doric order of architecture. It is a brick house, and it's covered in stucco, which speaks to the quality of the intent of the designer and of its client. One of the aspects of Greek Revival architecture in the United States are buildings that were generally painted white or very monochromatic, soft shades of gray. Later, one of the residents of this house, and perhaps its most famous owner and occupant, was Ellen Glasgow. And this is the place where she wrote many of her books, and she always referred to it as returning to the old gray house on Main Street. In the Jim Crow South, she had a very liberal outlook, and it didn't necessarily play well with many of the folks here in this part of the world. However, a number of her books were bestsellers, and her crowning achievement may have been in 1942 when she won the Pulitzer Prize for one of her novels, In This Our Life. We think of Ellen Glasgow as not only the most important female writer in Virginia, but also someone who was way ahead of her times, part of the suffragette movement, spoke out about a lot of the atrocities that were happening around her. Southerners really didn't want to confront the basic evils in their society. She was paving the way, in a way, for William Faulkner and Flannery O'Connor even. I think if you read any of the novels now, then you probably won't understand how original this was or how courageous this was to actually confront the society with things that they were not willing, usually, to confront. She entertained all the passing celebrities who came through town, and she loved to give them Virginia food, ham, and what else? Beaten biscuits. When you enter the Glasgow house, you're instantly struck by the scale. You're stepping from busy Main Street here in Richmond, modern life, and you're transported back in time as soon as you step through the front doors. And you can really understand how this would be a great place to write, to think, to meditate, but also to be able to enjoy it. It very correctly feels like you're stepping back into a 19th century home. This amazing property has stood the test of time, has not only survived, but has flourished and prospered for the last 170 years. It sits in an oasis, and an oasis that has been intentionally planted and cultivated for 150 years. And that makes this space unique in Richmond's history of residential architecture. All the stories, all the feelings, all the changes, all the touches are here. Nothing has been erased. Things have only been enhanced. This place is wonderful. I mean, it brings you back. It tells you the world that she grew up in. And that's why we hope so much that the people who take it over will understand and love it and learn what it has to say. Thank you.